morning, Facebook Live peeps. Judy Matejcik here, Life Mastery Consultant with What is Your Why? Why would that even matter? I love this. You didn't come this far to only come this far. <laughs> there you go. So, here we go. Hi, Judy Matejcik here, Life Mastery Consultant with Why Does It Matter? Why does it matter? So I wanted to come to you this morning and I, I love this. So maybe you've, you know, hit a plateau towards one of your goals. And you know, whether it's like training for a, a 10K or playing the piano or riding those horses, you know, faster and faster around the barrel. Hi, I love my horsey people coming in. You know, save Georgetown Rodeo Place, right? Yeah, like, like, love, love. And, you know, what, you know, maybe you've hit a plateau towards one of your goals. And, you know, whether it's training for a 10K or playing the piano or riding horses or, you know, speaking, writing that book. So here's three tips today about how to keep going even when you feel like quitting. How's that sound today? How to keep going even when you feel like quitting. Like this, like, you know, where are you uh, tuning in from today? Good to see you guys. Um, I know this past week, it's been, you know, for me, an emotional week. I got so caught up in like, don't they see what they're doing? And I got passionate and I was told like, what? pay attention to that passion. Pay attention to that passion. What is it that it's here to tell you? So anyway, so here's the three keys to go back when you feel you've hit a plateau, but you know that you need to keep going. The first key, first tool, whoop, is to remember your why. Remember your why. Have you ever thought of that, like why? you are here or why you're passionate about things. Because when you focus on what you have to do, like run that many miles, play that guitar piano so many times, feed those horses in the morning, you know, it's easy to get discouraged. Now, focus instead on why you want to do it so badly and see how that difference that feels. Yeah, and there's there's all this action. Sometimes it's ugh, again. I have to do this again. You know, when you go back to focus on why, then it feels different. You go back lighter. That's the first tool. The second tool, call somebody. Yeah, call someone. You know, text me. You know, or write a comment. You know, private message me. You know, fears, doubts, and worries can bring you down. Fears, doubts, and worries bringing you down. So call your best friend. You know, a good friend will remind you of your why even when you've forgotten it. Yeah. Call a beastie. Call a best friend. You know, someone who will remind you who you are. A friend of mine's mom is <clears throat> in the hospital with a stroke. She's reaching out to everybody and we're reminding her of her why she's so passionate and so good and she needs some help right now. So the first one tool was to remember that why. The second one is call someone who will help you remember your why. And the third tool is change your thoughts. Yeah, change your thoughts. Notice the thoughts that are running through your head when you feel like quitting. Notice those thoughts that are running through up here when you feel like quitting. You know, are you hearing these words? This is hard. I can't do this. This is hard. I can't do this. When you hear yourself saying those words or someone else, it's like you want to go good. That means that you're stretching. You're on that edge. This is too hard. I don't want to do it today. Well, you really don't have to, but go back to your why. Is it going to go in the direction of that why and take you to the next level? Chances are when you 
when you hear that voice say, um, say something, become your inner coach. <laughs> yeah. And you know, that inner coach of yours, look in the mirror. Yeah, this is hard and it's worth it. And it is so worth it. And yes, you can. Yes, you can. And I love Henry Ford's things. If you say you can't, you can't. If you say you can, you can. Find a mirror looking in. This is hard. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. And in that moment of clarity, take the action. Take the action. So Judy Matejcik here with three tools for, uh, you know, I love this. Let me go back here to this. Sure, this is great. You know, I, I take these uh, Juice Plus vitamins. It's not a commercial for those, but I have been for years. And this came with the uh, the um, last um, shipment. I just love this. You didn't come this far to only come this far. <laughs> I'll be getting going in the mountains at the end of July, leading a hike. In a, with, and it's like, there's so many times where we get like halfway and like, I don't want to do it. Take a break, take a deep breath. You know, you could quit if that's what you want to do, or you could take a deep breath, be that inner coach and says, yes, but it is so worth it. So Judy Matejcik here, Life Mastery Consultant. There you go. Judy Matejcik here, Life Mastery Consultant with three tools. One, remember your why. Two, call someone that will help you remember the why. And three, change your thoughts. Become your own inner coach. Yes, this is hard, but it is really worth it. Dream big, dream bold, accomplish brilliantly. Amen.